coast of South Brittany is stunning and the Gulf du Morbihan is one of the most beautiful harbors in the world. The cold waters of Brittany provide ideal conditions for seafood and especially for the farming of Breton oysters. Yvan Cello from the coastal village of Baden manages an oyster farm that was established by his ancestors in 1869. Breeding oysters for the table starts by trapping wild larvae in strong tidal currents. The larvae attach themselves onto specially designed discs and after nine months have grown into baby oysters. The healthy baby oysters are kept in bags and are covered by water during high tides. The oysters are fed by multitudes of microfoods from the rich organic seawater. Every two weeks, as the oysters grow, Yvon turns and shakes the bags to facilitate the evolution of the shellfish. It is hard and cold work. I think I prefer the heat of the kitchen and it's good to go back to terra firma for a testing. These oysters are so good, I can taste the sea. It is one of my favorite foods in the world. Every market in Brittany sells super fresh local shellfish. I can only dream of the sweet meat of these lobsters and spider crabs. I am salivating and a little jealous at the same time. One of my favorites are the scallops that the fishmonger cleans for the home cooks. This modern take of a scallop salad with a cauliflower puree is a delight. First, I blend some steamed cauliflower into a fine puree with a little butter, salt and pepper. I then mix the juice of half a lemon with salt, pepper, two tablespoons of olive oil and one tablespoon of chopped roasted hazelnuts and one teaspoon of finely cut tarragon. Next, I cook some scallops in a hot oiled pan for about 20 seconds on each side. Overcooking the scallops makes them tough and less delicate. Next, I toss the scallops in the dressing. Then, I spoon a little cauliflower puree onto plates and top with the scallops and dressing. These coquilles Saint-Jacques à la purée de chou-fleur are out of this world. Le plateau de fruits de mer, the seafood platter, so popular with French people, served in every restaurant on the coast, accompanied with a little bit of mayonnaise, some rye bread, some butter, for the oysters, a little dressing of vinegar and shallots, and to drink a glass of muscadet, a wine made not very far from here, with melon de Bourgogne grapes. It's dry, it's delicious. À votre santé. Tomorrow, I will be in the Pyrenees, discovering the gourmet specialties of the route of Santiago de Compostela.